about one hour ago, I just uh, witnessed one of the most unbelievable uh, displays of evilness and wickedness that I've ever seen come out of the mouth of a person. I mean, this, this senator from Oregon is so evil and so out of touch with everything. I mean, he is evil from the top of his head to the bottoms of his feet. He's crazy. This, this man is completely 100% bona fide crazy. I cannot, I cannot, honestly, I cannot imagine any parents that could raise such an evil, crazy-minded individual as this senator from Oregon that talked at the, uh, I guess, their, their last uh, speech that they gave, uh, telling uh, people how they're going to vote. He was unbelievable. I mean, there's a lot of unbelievable Democrats, evil party. There, There's the Americans versus the Democrats. It's no longer, it's no longer Republicans and Democrats. Right now, unfortunately, it's Americans and Democrats. The, the display, the words that came out of this mouth of this complete idiot was shocking. It was absolutely shocking to me. I could not believe what I was hearing. I didn't know whether to laugh or to vomit. This guy was a joke. Every, th every point, everything that he talked about was crazy, was a lie was the deceit was 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 just evil crazy I, if if you people don't go out and vote in 32 days or whatever it is for republicans god help us all for the condition that this government is going to be in it it is, it is unbelievable. All you have to do is look at these people that are in the Democratic Party like Maxine Waters and, and Nancy Pelosi and, and uh, uh, Chuck Schumer, whatever his name is, and, and uh, Dianne Feinstein, Booker. I mean, it goes on and on, but this clown, I don't remember his name, and I don't really care to remember his name. This guy from Oregon is a complete moron and evil. I don't think, I, I mean, I've seen evil people before, but this guy was a poster boy of what not to be or what not ever to become. Parents couldn't possibly raise this person to be such a idiot thinking man is what he's become. God, this guy is crazy. This guy is absolutely crazy. Talk about far left liberal. This guy is not an American. This guy is not an American. He doesn't give a crap about America or the American people. He doesn't care about what Trump's doing to push this nation forward. Their one agenda is to destroy America. doesn't matter if it was Kavanaugh or somebody else. They would have done everything in their power to, you know to do something, to do stunts, not to, not to have uh, the uh, Trump's uh, person that he nominated for the Supreme Court to go through. It's all a stunt. 
And Ford, oh, according to according to these Democrats, she gave the most unbelievable, honest, thorough testimony against Kavanaugh that anybody could ever, ever, ever do. Are you, did you watch the same hearings that I, as I did? Did you watch the same hearings as other people did? She went from almost crying to a happy little schoolgirl. And there's so many holes in her testimony of being claustrophobic and she can't doesn't like to fly and she doesn't really want to fly. But yet she flew all over the place. And her three witnesses, they don't know what the hell she's talking about. And she gave such a great performance. And how dare Kavanaugh show emotions when, when they're putting him through hell. I mean, he sat there for 32 hours, you know, of, of, of uh, getting bashed. I think he did a really good job of, of restraining himself. And there was a period of time that he lashed out just a bit because he was upset. He was upset at all the crap that the Democratic Party was shilling out to him and, and, and trying to destroy a good man and his wife and his kids even to a point where there was a political cartoon or some cartoon that came out yesterday that they were making fun of Kavanaugh's two daughters, for heaven's sakes, huh? Do you really want an America like this? Do you really want an America where people are guilty? Just off the bat? I, I don't want an America like this. You shouldn't want an America like this or for your children or your grandkids. These democratic people are evil. I don't know how else to say it. They're evil people. I don't care. I don't care if you people all unsubscribe to me. I don't care. I really don't care. I've had probably, I don't know, 40 people unsubscribe to me because I I don't like Democrats. I don't like what they stand for. They're un-American. I don't care. I really don't care. I'm really not... Well, I didn't used to be Republican or Democrat. I voted for the person. But after a display of these unrighteous, holier-than-thou people. I'll never, ever vote for a Democrat, ever. Oh, how dare Judge Kavanaugh show any emotion. I would like to see any of you Democrats or any of you Democratic, Democrat senators, you idiots, if you're in the same spot in situation as Judge Kavanaugh was, if you wouldn't, you know, lose your your cool just for just for a, you know a little while. You people are morons. You people f find anything to find fault with. I mean, it's just so disgusting. You people are absolute babies. I I'm embarrassed to even have you. In the Senate, I'm embarrassed to even have you as as Americans. Good grief, you're not Americans. You can't possibly be a, a, a good American and think the way you do. Not to mention a human being, for crying out loud. I hope that Kavanaugh goes through... And I hope that you Democrats that have been so unfair to Kavanaugh, to President Trump, and to the rest of the people in this country, I hope someday that you'll receive your karma 
and you'll get what's coming to you. Maybe not in this life, but in the next life. I don't think that God is very impressed with you people that think the way you do. You people are evil. Evil. Scum. Scum.